Hey, what's going on everybody? The Destroyer here. Welcome back to another cast of the Rise of the Witch King, patch 2.2 version 5.0.1. Today we have a 4v4 on Tournament Pelinor. A custom map made by Lazarus. So, let's get into it, see if it's any good, shall we? We have... let's start actually over here on this side. Just makes it easier. We'll start here. We have May Shadow as Mordor there. The second player on their team is John J. Rambo as Angmar. In the top, we have. I'm gonna guess that's Wise Man. We is it Wise Man or what? Eh, we'll just call him Wise Man. <laughs> Wise Man, as men there. That sounds about right. And then, of course, their last player on their team is Pink as Angmar. The opposing team we have a special guest as the Elves. And their second player is Alexis as the Men of the West. We have Excelsior as the Men of the West as well. And another man of the West, Belspub. Alright, this should be a pretty good match. There's a lot of good players in this game. So we'll see how they fare. We've got three men of the West and an elf. So marketplace is gonna be big on that side, I would imagine. And of course we got two Angmars, a man and a Mordor here. So we don't have any none of that kind of synergy here. None of these teams actually share any kind of resource uh, thing that benefits all the players on that side. Looks like one of the players is scouting with their eye. Looks like it would be Rambo. Of course, because he's the only Mordor player in the game. And it looks like... Ra uh, not Rambo. This isn't Rambo. This is May Shadow. Excuse me. Rambo is the Ingmar player here. Who is going for Dire Wolves as a starting unit, actually. Interesting. Not every day you see a starting unit as a Dire Wolf. And especially in 4v4. But I guess it could be actually pretty effective. And I'm going to guess May Shadow is going to go for Harajim Lancers. As he is upgrading a... Roger and Palace level 2, and that would be really the only reason we want to do that. Well, not, not the only reason, but generally. Looks like Wiseman going for Cavalry as well. Probably going to get some Gondor Knights out in the field. Let's see who's taking the outpost. No one's taking this outpost yet, obviously, because no one has any guys. It looks like Pink has taken this outpost. And he's also obviously going for Thrallmasters as his unit. So already got a battalion down here in the base of Special Guest. He's going for Lorian Warriors as a starting unit. He's going some Lorian Archers as well. He just want to try and save his outpost and his builder as well. Gotta be very careful there. And who's this? This is Alexis. Alexis has forward barracks here. He's going to claim the signal fire. And pump out guys from there. That's interesting. Not a bad tactic, putting forward barracks, but at the same time it does leave them very, very vulnerable, so... If the enemy does find them, they will be in trouble. It looks like uh, Excelsior has gone for Gondor Knights. Send him across the field there. Looking to do some economic damage, undoubtedly. Dire Wolves actually could help with the Gondor Knights. Dire Wolves can actually catch them, which is kind of handy. They won't win in a 1v1 fight, but they will help. Definitely. Kind of like Spiderlings and like other cavalry. Spiderlings are great for countering them. Catching them wise, but obviously they usually don't win in a 1v1 fight. Because they're not as strong. If you have enough of them though, you never know. Especially the buffs and what have you. Looks like Special Guest is going to lose this tree here. Pink is being very aggressive. Looks like he's also going to lose his outpost before it's even taken. Pink actually opting to capture it instead of knock it down. Probably a smart move. That will force the uh, enemy team to either take it or knock it down themselves. Bustles build up quite a force here. A lot of archers, a lot of swords, and a battalion of pikes as well. And he'll be going up against uh, courses of Umbar. Interesting left. May Shadow opting to go for Corsairs as his unit of choice as a swordman. And then he has his archers there, of course. Look at that pool. Oh. <laughs> anyway, random things aside, let's go over here. Looks like the outpost was destroyed. This farm is going to be taken down as well. Alexis being aggressive in the base of Wiseman. Who has Rohirrim as his units here. So he can't actually trample these. But he can shoot them down slowly. Rohirrim's bows don't do too much damage to the pikes. If they did, of course, they'd be OP as hell. Be <laughs> able to shoot the pikes down very quickly and trampling the rest of the remaining guys. But that's not the case, thankfully, because of balance reasons. Go balance. All right. We got Dire Wolves galore here. 
Oh, he's actually sent like five battalions of dire wolves to help his ally. I think these are all from the same player. Pretty sure pink isn't going for dire wolves, so. Of course, dire wolves are good against pikemen. So that's a thing. They're also decent against everything else, I guess. They're not great, but, you know, in mass numbers, they should do fairly well. Alexis helping the defense over here. Looks like Alexis is going to take this uh, outpost back. And Special Guest is going to try and fend off the hordes that Pink is sending his way, which he has more on the way. So, uh, looks like Bellspo is pushing forward this way through the center of the map. And now he's turning around. Okay. Celsius has brought some cavalry to assist. So we're going to go for a double attack there. Very nice. Maybe Shadow does have some Progen Lancers over here. And of course, we have just tons of dire wolves. <laughs> it's kind of cool, actually. Miss Shadow going for the white layer right now. And Miss Shadow is also going to go for Haradrum archers and trolls, it looks like. Possibly drummer trolls or mountain trolls or even attack trolls, you never know. Drummer trolls and Haradrum archers are actually pretty good, though. That leadership buff is pretty useful, especially on elite archers like them. So, not a bad choice by any means. It's going to be hard for the dire wolf army to do much damage here, to be honest. It's a lot of dire wolves, but honestly, they're not very strong against archers. They're not particularly strong against swords. Actually, they're doing all right. Nah, maybe not. <laughs> when they're in hold ground stance and shield ball, soldiers are quite tanky. They do well against the pikes, as you would expect, though. Rudar Spearman, not very good. Nice trample by Alexis, though, getting all of the archers, basically. There's only a few stragglers remain. And the Belspoke will retreat his remaining forces. Although, he won't be able to outrun the dire wolves. So, that'll be a thing. Lots of dire wolves converging in on him. Gonna force him to fight. Or just lose his army entirely. Nice tactic there. The dire wolf usage is just... Insane. Not something you see very often. We do have a Waldar here. I believe this is Pink's Waldar. I'm gonna say yes. <laughs> he is very wounded though. He needs to get the hell out of there, of course. As Alexis does have an overwhelming force, I would say. Special guest pushing in over here. He does have himself a Haldir, as well as some archers and some spears. So things probably not going so well for Pink, I'd say. Him and Alexis, special guest and Alexis, that is, pushing in fairly effectively. The direwolf army coming for the, the attack, though, on Alexis' army and absolutely just wrecking it. What is this? <laughs> I had no idea Direwolves were this good. Very curious. Uh, Excelsior has gone for Eomer, as well as his Rohirrim. And we do indeed have Drummer Trolls. Very nice. Drummer Trolls, Black Orcs, and Haradrum Archers and Easterlings. Not a bad combo. That's a combo I like myself, actually, when I play Mordor. It's quite, quite good. Although, if I like it, maybe that means it's dog shit, so who knows. <laughs> Although, I did learn it from... A good player, so I guess. No, it's not actually. It looks like pink is okay for now, though. The enemies have backed off. Special guests will head over to the east here, possibly to help Alexis keep his base alive. Although Alexis has plenty of our hero here, so I think it'll be alright. Although the dire wolves, the dire wolves. How good are dire wolves against our hero? Probably not very, I would imagine. But I don't actually know. Of course, the dire wolves can't be trampled either, which is kind of useful. So, against a bunch of cavalry, they'll at least be able to fight without being trampled. I'd say Bill is doing fairly well here. He's making ground against May Shadow. We got to summon hobbits from Alexis. I think those are Alexis's. Nope, those are Wiseman's. That explains why Bellswap's troops moved, I guess. But yes, that will of course cause him to flee. We do have Excelsior bringing troops to the battle as well. So the two men of the west on the right side. Being very aggressive. Alexis, uh, no. Is he the same color as Alexis? Is he brown and like one's orange? Brown and orange? Yeah. <laughs> A brown man in the west and an orange man in the west. How annoying. I can barely tell the difference on the map and on the freaking game field. Well, we'll wing it. We'll wing it. 
<laughs> It'll be fine. That's Wiseman's army, definitely. Going for pillaging. Looks like we have the Gyrowulf army of Rambo also pillaging over here. He's just continuing to get dire wolves. He's got three troll wolf dens. He's just pumping them out. I like this. <laughs> I like it a lot, to be honest. Oh, I'm guessing Special Guest doesn't like this, though. Mountain Giants being summoned in by John J. Rambo over here. With all the power points he's got garnished to take out the Fortress Special Guest. And down goes the Elven Fortress. And one big attack between Pink and Rambo here. As well as... Yeah, those are rainbows. Well, that's going to be GG for him. There you go, special guest. That's one player down. That's going to leave Alexis alone on this side, which is not ideal for him, of course. He's lost his forward base as well. He has rebuilt over here, though. But he does not have the force necessary to repel this kind of attack. And I think it's only a matter of time before Alexis follows suit. Of course, the giants are still here as well potentially get rid of this archery range, which would really set Alexis back. Not being able to build the rangers, nor have the building upgraded to do so. We do have a Wormer here, just sitting there, chilling. <laughs> of course, in whole ground stance, he won't auto-acquire. That's why he's standing there. He's absolutely surrounded, though, and down goes Boromir, champion of the men of the West. May he forever rip in pieces. Alexis has been defeated. He's left the game, leaving his buildings to Excelsior. Belspub's still in the game as well. Belspub and Excelsior against four players. I don't see their odds being very favorable, I'm going to be honest. But definitely, this. This may have won them the game. Just mass dire wolves. I can't tell. <laughs> I'd say it was fairly effective. Look at this shit. Very cool. There we go. Bellsbub has left the game. And it looks like the remaining player who is recording left the game as well. So, <laughs> there you go. Lord of the team takes the victory there. That was an interesting little 4v4. A quicker one, definitely. But interesting nonetheless. Not every day you see mass dire wolves. So, I thought that was a highlight of that one, I would say. But all players play pretty well, I'd say. Pretty good match to watch, and I hope you enjoyed that as well. So I'll see you all in the next cast of the Razor Witch King patch 2.2 version 5.01. See you all next time.